what's up guys so I'm over here and right now you're looking at my first project car this is a Chucky beat the Toyota all track 1988 Celica all track this is what you're looking at on the inside everything's basically just gutted out side panels even the transmission no center console, no back seats. I do have a passenger seat, but it's in the, it's in the garage over there. And of course, front bumper's not on, but it's right there. <coughs> and it's basically, the car is not in running conditioning right now, but hopefully I can get it working. After I just clean it up, I mean, the, the hood doesn't really get can't really do anything with the head, but try to clean up the side a little bit, and boom, there we go, like that, clean the front bumper too, it looks, you know, definitely needs new paint, the whole car in general needs new paint, but that's for another time, <laughs> so far I'm looking to do a full restoration guys, don't even look at it. Don't, Don't even touch my butt. What? The butt? All right, Joel, are you really gonna record my? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You're good. You're good. Oh, I got set up, dude. Thanks, dude. It's really difficult to even get my hand in here. Dang it. Now we're here. Working on. Well, you see, there there is absolutely no clutch pressure, and so what I had decided to do swap the master and the slave cylinder over here. And I got completely brand new ones, which I'm installing right now. Just tore off. This top layer for my steering wheel because it was pretty nasty. So I tore it off and I'm right now I'm just in the midst of cleaning all this junk off over here. I just put the master in, but I haven't connected anything yet. Which is kind of explains why there's no pressure, but it was exactly the same before that. And then I'm gonna be installing the slave right down over there. Alright guys, so I got my clutch braided line. As you can see it right there. It goes routes around it's right here. I don't think it would get caught in the fan at all. It shouldn't. I'm gonna test and see if we can get some clutch pressure, guys. Let's ch test it. All right, here we go. So we got brake fluid in there. I'm pressing it. Hopefully, it gets a little bit stiff. Yep, I'm already feeling it. What is up, guys? Back at it again with the cell call track. And we're going to attempt to start it. I got all the clutch pressure and have everything installed back installed. Oh wait, I should try something first. I just put gas in it. Just to check. Make sure there's gas. Alright. Let's try this. What's up guys, so today I'm here 
Giving you a little bit of an update on the Celicas. Just been doing cleaning, the car runs. Um, I just got new spark plugs. I haven't put them in yet though. Uh, I got a new battery. And today I'm gonna try to remove some rust that's inside the cab. Of course, you know from these 90s, 80s cars, they tend to have rust. So I got this product called Bullfrog. And I'm gonna try it out. And I got my wire brush here. See, so yeah, as you can see, it's all some surface rust here. So we're gonna go ahead and try to get it off. I got this thing popped open. Let's see what this stuff looks like. You know, I think there's a cap, or I think there's a plastic underneath here. Oh, it's like orange, brownish, kind of like top ramen uh, color-ish, beef, beef top ramen-ish. Alright, so as you can see, I just wiped it off, and look at that, look at the difference. So I realized that the car was pretty dirty, and so I have a little bottle of dish soap and water, and I'm cleaning it out, doing a little bit of spray on it, kind of just loosen up this dirt. Nope, got my, got my Jesus slippers on, you know what I'm saying? It worked pretty well. It, uh, we got most of it off, like all the main surface rust. And what I also did is put some rust block around this area. And I'm gonna let that sit for a little while. I finally got car parts in. I ordered an aluminum radiator from eBay. This is looks sick. So much better looking than the stock. So much better. Oh my gosh, the struggle. Well, here's a quick look at the welds. Um, not too shabby. I don't know if you know, so I, I only have, I don't have exhaust. And obviously I have this muffler, but it's not actually connected to anything. So if you look, down, down, right there. That's the end of this muffler. It's not connected to anything, so it's just pretty much an open down pipe. I ordered that exhaust, and it's supposed to come maybe next week or the following week. Hopefully pretty soon I can get that on. Uh, but first we're gonna uh, drain the stock radiator, and we're gonna try to test fit this. Not really test fit, actually just put it on, really. And get rid of this old one. Oh, I forgot to buy fans, guys. I forgot to buy a fan because this, the stock, the new radiator is thicker than this one and it's probably not gonna fit this normal fan shroud along with the fan. And yeah, no, I need to fix this too. It's okay, I'm not running the car yet. So I'm trying to get this little, so I'm taking off all the hoses. I drain the radiator, right? And so it's all empty. Just connecting some hoses. And this one, this little guy right here, this little bugger, is rusted shut to the this little this little pipeline right here to the turbo. So I'm trying to get it out. Oh, it's coming. It's coming off. Okay, all I had to do was wiggle. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, no, what is that? That thing's a piece of poop. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the steel brush, steel wire brush, and I'm just gonna scrub it down like that so that when I get the new hoses, it should be all good and clean and not rusty. After some wrestling, I finally got the radiator out. Look at the engine bay. It's so so open now. Oh, look at that cool. Looking at this radiator. This is definitely, definitely a 30. Look, look at that, look at that nipple. Just look at that. That was, that was a crusty nipple. Got this bad boy. All right, guys. 
Check it out. Check that out, boy. Ooh, it fits pretty much perfect. Look how clean that is. Except for don't don't look don't look at that. Don't look at look at look at this. Look at this. Ooh. So good. So fresh, man. Let's go. What's up guys? So my HKS high power exhaust just came in straight from Japan. You know what I'm saying? It's cost me like a fortune and just got shipped overnight over here. Just super JDM. Just kidding. It actually came from China. And it's a it's an eBay. It's an eBay exhaust. It's whatever. It was just you know, it's a little something for the kids, something soft for the kids. Something soft for the kids because, you know, I gotta save money and I gotta get the eBay exhaust so I can get something soft for the kids. We're gonna do a little unboxing real quick. Look at this packaging. This they gotta keep this nice and snug. Oh, the whole thing comes up. So as you see in mid pipe section, we got the muffler right here. We have a little extension piece right here. Sick. We're gonna put that on pretty soon, and hopefully it sounds sweet. But this is also a three-inch system. Uh, comes with, it's a dual tip, dual tip exhaust. Uh, mainly because I like the stock look quite a bit more than, you know, the cans 